Good evening, everybody. I've been uh, putting off getting on all day because I've been having a headache all day, but it's not shaking, so I'm just getting on anyway. <laughs> because I wanted to get on and show you guys uh, trimming dog nails. A couple weeks ago, we did how to trim kitty nails, which my kitty helpers are, are right over here checking out boxes, their favorite thing to do. Um, and so now it's time to move on to doggy nails. And of course, my buddy boy Remington is going to help me out with that. He looks excited about it, doesn't he? But he's a very good boy always. So first off, when talking about trimming dog nails, of course, dog nails can come in clear nails where you can easily see where the veins are and where the nail's at. And then black nails. Course, the dreaded black nails right because you cannot see anything that's in there and so those are the ones that people especially get nervous about right so when looking at black nails um, let's still first talk about nail clipper types um, I looked through my supplies and I don't even have the guillotine type clippers uh, kind of handles that you go like this on and it has a slicer that comes up and slices the nail off I don't even have those anymore because it tends to twist the nail um, and be pretty painful for the dogs. So if you use a nail trimmer, um, these are my favorite kind to use. Um, so get a kind that's like this, so it's almost like a scissor made for the nails um, to just clip them off. Other than the nail trimmer, which this is quicker way of doing things for sure, um, but my favorite way is to use a dog nail dremel. Um, and Dremel them down to the length that they should be. It takes a little bit more time, but it's much easier on the dog and usually not as painful. You do have to get them used to the vibration of the Dremel. Um, but it comes in a couple different kinds. There's this kind that is marketed um, that has the, the spinning wheel on the inside and it has a small little space that you can put the nail into. Um, or this one's got a little more power so it uh, gets the nails done a little faster and it has a rechargeable battery, so it's become my favorite one. But let's talk about if you are using this guy and trimming them on black nails. Okay, you've got the dog nail that's growing, growing out. So this is everything from the flesh of the dog and the nail that's growing out, okay? And then, of course, they have a vein inside and the vein's got nerves as well, so they do feel. Um, so when they yell for nails, often it's because it did, it does hurt a little bit. So a guide to go know where to trim these guys at is if you, you kind of look at the underside of the nail, you can almost see a little um, break in the nail where there's a, a sharp little corner and then it goes to the tip of the nail. And that break is usually right where you want to go or start in front of it and then you can work your way back. This little circle is here for the cross section of the nail. So as you start to trim those black nails, you can look at it head on this way, and you'll start to see that black ring and it'll look completely white in the middle. You can keep shaving off little bit by little bit with this type of nail trimmer. And then once you start to see a black dot in the middle of that white, so it's the outside of the nail, they'll be white in the middle, and you start to see a black dot in the middle, that's when you want to stop because that's where the blood vessel, you're starting to get close to that. So when you start to see a dot form in the middle of everything, you've gone far enough and that's as far as you wanna go. So those are my two main guides for using this type of clipper on those black nails. Now we'll get to the Dremel. So we're gonna start with Remy's nails, who's being my whether it's willing or unwilling participant here this evening, you can see he's very in need of his nails being done. And uh, he good, he's got that good combination of the white and the black nails. And with the Dremel, first you want to get him used to just the noise. As you can see, he noticed it turned on. So just get him used to that. And then always just kind of get it used to the vibration. Um, I just hold it on the bottom of their foot, kind of run it down the leg get him used to the little bit of vibration. He doesn't love it, so the other good thing to have on hand are some of their favorite treats nearby. 
And this is always best to do with clippers or the Dremel if you have somebody who can sort of constantly be feeding them treats and distracting them while your other person's trimming. Um, otherwise, we'll just kind of take breaks, breaks and give treats in between if you're doing it by yourself. So let's get to it with the Dremel, how we're going to go with that. And we'll start on the white nail here. So we're just going to hold it right to the tip. It's on low power, so it takes it a little bit longer, but the high power I don't use till the battery starts to get low. And uh, otherwise, the, it can heat up the nail a little bit too much. And of course, with the white nails, we can see where that vein is. It's about right to there. You can see that line. Quinn's coming to help me. So we can go a little bit further. Your eyes. Okay. And then on the black nail, we'll start that one. And so these are just a little bit of a more easy going process once you get in used to the noise and the vibration of it all. And so for me it makes nail trimming pretty easy going kind of thing. Yeah, and he got another treat because he's being a little boy. So Quinn, get back. Alright, I'm going to go over to this foot who's just got some long nails on it just to show you how to use the regular clipper, which is not Remy's favorite. He definitely prefers the regular trimmers. Hey, Remy, up. Up. Turn. 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 Okay. Things adjusted here so you can see these guys. Okay, so I've always got the safety thing so you can lock them closed and then open them up. And I do the longest nails for good effect. Let me get a kind of a side view for you. And so with these, I would just start there where you can kind of see that angle and just start by taking the tip off. And you can see that noise always kind of startles them a little bit, uh, but you can see that's about where we wouldn't want to take it a whole lot further on this particular nail. He tends to wear his nails down, so sometimes I can see um, where he's broken it, and so I'm not going to take it much further than that. So that's where those guys go. Um, but sometimes with the, even the nail clippers, they tend to be kind of scratchy. So again, that's where the Dremel's really nice because even if you use the regular nail trimmers, the Dremel's really nice to um, just come in and smooth out those sort of rough edges so they don't scratch you. You get a much smoother nail surface with the Dremel. And as you can see, he minds, he doesn't mind it at all. So it's much easier on him than all the regular clippers, even though it's a little bit noisy and all. I'm going to go and finish this foot since we're over here. That tickles, I know. Being a good boy. Yes. So my battery's starting to get a little bit low now. Okay. Voila! And he got a foot trimmed. You can see those nails look much better now. Not so long as they were, and nice blunt edges to them, little pointy, where they injure and gouge us. So that's it. And then, of course, more treats to reward them being good babies. Not you. You didn't get your nails trimmed. And then they're very happy about the birthday. So those are my quick tips. Again, with the black nails, look for kind of your landmarks with that corner on the bottom to shoot a sort of aim for with the actual clipper or with the clippers as well to look at that sort of outside black nail and then wait for that dot to come in once you start to see the dot. Very helpful animals.
um, then you know you've gone far enough and want to stop. But Dremel again, my favorite. So I would highly recommend that method in getting one uh, to use for your pets because I think it makes it much less traumatic and uh, less fearful, especially with combining it with some good treats. Um, and then they usually will come willingly and happily get their nails done on a regular basis. So that's all I wanted to come and share with you tonight. So thanks for watching and hope you found this helpful. Um, see black nails. A third of his nails and you catch the quick. Yes, if they've gone, um, Jessica, if they've gone a period of time without their nails being trimmed, the longer they go, the, the quick will grow longer with the nails. So if his quicks have grown out so you can't trim very much on those nails without hitting the quick, um, it's just going to be a matter of it probably once a week, at least every two weeks, that you just go in and just shave a little bit off that nail. And you have to you stay at it really regular, though, and that uh, quick will gradually recede and get shorter over time. But you have to do it every one to two weeks for a good three months, and you'll get that nail to shorten up because um, that quick will gradually recede just by keeping up on top of it. If they've gone a long period of time, some of Remy's, um, he tends to get that way, too. If uh, I let him go too long, those quicks will grow right out. And then I've got to really keep up on him again to get his nails to shorten up again. So good. Yeah, glad you found that helpful. So I was just going to scan if I had any other questions. Feel free to drop them below if you think of any questions. And I'm happy to help. And uh, thanks for watching. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. And uh, we'll see you soon with some more dog and kitty tips for you. Have a good night.